How could flying robots help people in Africa? Quick, to the drone port! In my neck of the woods, the word drone brings to mind someone holding a remote control, guiding a quadcopter through the skies. But in Africa, drones could be much more than that. That's the hope of Jonathan Ledgard, the founder of the Redline Cargo Drone Network. Ledgard has been working in Africa since 2002. In his travels, he noted that many villages in Africa, even those that are relatively close to one another, are largely isolated. Many places lack a sufficient road infrastructure to allow for transportation. As a result, villagers often must go without things that they would otherwise have access to if only they could connect with neighboring villages. On top of that, Ledgard has observed that cell phones are cheap in Africa, leading to a more connected and educated youth. But there's a real concern that there will be no jobs for these people when they grow up. Ledgard's solution to these problems is a network in the sky. It's a network created by drones. Here's Ledgard's vision. Imagine that every village has access to a nearby facility. The facility serves as a sort of airport for drones. This gives the drones a safe place to land and take off from that won't put villagers and their homes at risk. It also creates jobs. These drone ports will need people to staff them, and the drones themselves will haul cargo from one place to another, connecting villages together. Ledgard is already experimenting with this approach using drones to carry blood. If there's a malaria outbreak in a village, an emergency supply of blood could save dozens of people, and Ledgard imagines that the drone ports of the future will include a clinic inside them. In fact, the drone port could become a busy center for the community. For one thing, people would need to go to the drone port to drop off or pick up packages. Why not offer drop off and pick up at the door? For one thing, going with the centralized approach creates more jobs. People will need to staff the package center to accept, label, and assign drones to packages. For another, it keeps the costs down for the drones themselves. The drone port might house other high-tech facilities, such as an additive manufacturing center. In other words, a 3D printer. These centers could produce items or parts that people need so that they don't have to improvise or go without necessities and conveniences when something breaks. The company is working with the government of Rwanda to plan and build the first drone ports. If the initiative meets with success, the company will build them in other parts of Africa. In a few decades, the continent might have a bustling economy in the skies overhead. The biggest challenges facing drone deployment in Africa are costs and regulations, or actually I should say the lack of regulations. Regulations are a good thing in this case. They set up rules of operation, and with that comes the opportunity to secure insurance. That helps lower costs and makes it possible for a company to scale up operations. As for the drone technology itself, Ledgard hopes to see a trend similar to cell phones. If that happens, it will become economically advantageous to build these drone ports. It's a very forward-thinking idea. I'm curious if you guys have any ideas about using technology to help people in non-industrial regions. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks to Toyota for sponsoring our show, and you can show your support for this show by hitting that like button and joining the Forward Thinking Think Tank. It's easy, just subscribe to this channel. I'll see you in the future.